Apple has announced Ream. Ream stands for Reference Resolution as a Language Model. A reference resolution is quite interesting field, especially when it comes to large language models these days. The reference resolution refers to the process of identifying and understanding the reference or entities that are being referred to in a given text or conversation. This involves determining what pronouns, nouns or other linguistic expressions are referring to in order to comprehend the meaning and context effectively. For example, in the sentence, she went to the store and bought some groceries. The reference resolution involves recognizing that she refers to a specific person previously mentioned or implied in the conversation or text. Addressing a reference resolution is crucial for tasks such as natural language understanding, information retrieval, and dialogue system, as it enables accurate interpretation and processing of language in various contexts. The reference resolution is quite an important problem, one that is essential to understand and successfully handle context of different kinds. This context includes both previous terms and context that pertains to non-conversational entities. This paper by Apple demonstrates how LLMs can be used to create an extremely effective system to resolve references of various types by showing how reference resolution can be converted into a language modeling problem despite involving forms of entities like those on screen that are not traditionally conducive to being reduced or a text-only modality. I will drop the link to this paper and I would highly suggest that if you are looking to manipulate text in different contexts, then this is quite a good read and really hats off to all of these researchers who have done a wonderful job from Apple. Human speech typically contains ambiguous references such as they or that, whose meaning is obvious to other humans given the context. Being able to understand context including references like these is essential for a conversational assistant that aims to allow a user to naturally communicate their requirements to an agent or to have a conversation with the agent. Also, enabling the user to issue queries about what they see on their screen is a crucial step in ensuring a true hands-free experience in voice assistants. For example, look at this screen from Apple because Apple is all about the handheld devices so they are quite keen on voice assistants for example also consider the following interaction between a user and agent for example if users and let me actually show you because it will make it easier so this is the example which i was talking about so if you look at this interaction between a user and the agent here where user speaks first that show me of uh, show me pharmacies near me and then agent replies, here is a list of found and then agent also presents the list in any format. So it is quite evident that it would not be possible for the agent to understand or complete the user's query without the ability to use and comprehend context. It also stands to reason that there are multiple types of context that are necessary to handle user queries, conversational context and on-screen text being two prime examples. If you have been following my videos, you might notice that recent LLMs have often enabled end-to-end -end experiences, perhaps even obviating the need of a traditional multi-state pipeline that includes a reference resolution. But there are still several real-world use cases where a pipeline is valuable, perhaps even essential and end-to-end -end approach falls short. Because when a framework runs completely on-device, for example locally and privately, on a system such as smartphone that has relatively limited computing power due to the lower power nature of system, then using a single LLM for this task would usually require the use of a language model with long prompts for true end-to-end -end experience. So this is one use case where reference resolution make a lot of sense. Now one thing which is quite interesting in this paper is this sort of synthetic data set which they have generated. And this is not the only the data set which they have used. Their data set comprise data 
that was either synthetically created or created with the help of annotators. Each data point contains a user query and a list of entities along with ground truth entity that are relevant to the corresponding user query. Each entity in turn contains information about its type and other properties such as name and other textual detail associated with the entity and that entity could be label and time of an alarm for example and for data points where relevant on screen context exists this context is available in the form of bounding box of the entity and the list of objects surrounding it along with properties now this is uh, on your screen on the right hand side is example of on screen data green data were collected from various web pages where phone number email or physical address information exists and they had two phased annotation process on screen data. First phase um, was for extracting queries based on screens, and second one was for identifying the entities and mentioned for the given query. In the first grading project, graders were given a screenshot, which is first screen on the first figure, this on the left, with green and red boxes. The information in the green box and asked to classify the green box returned to one of the entities such as phone number email address then graders were asked to provide three unique queries for green box data and in the second annotation project which is a figure second figure on the right hand side queries collected in the first steps were shown to graders one by one with corresponding screenshots without bounding boxes and all screen entities as a list the graders were asked if the query contains mention to the one of the green visual entities, if the query sound natural. They were also asked to provide the entities from the list referred in the given query and tag the part of queuing referring that entity. So this is a proposed model ream, which is I think should be a real groundbreaking, especially on these handheld devices. And I really can't wait to uh, try it out. And in this paper, they have demonstrated demonstrated how LLMs can be used to perform reference resolution easily and quickly. And they do this by encoding entity candidates as natural text. They also have demonstrated how entities that are present on the screen can be passed into an LLM using a novel textual representation that effectively summarizes the user screen while retaining relative spatial positions of these entities. And there is a lot of benchmarking information in this paper which you can go through which shows that Ream outperforms previous approaches and perform roughly as well as the SOTA LLMs today like GPT and even it has fewer parameters than GPT. So their approach is effective in encoding the position of entities on the screen. They also have found out that it results in loss of information they may not, that might not be able to resolve complex user queries that rely on nuanced positional understanding. But I think this is just a matter of time because before this research evolves into something more concrete when it will be able to solve these nuanced approaches too. Pretty interesting. Really, um, I think that whenever Apple releases some research and a proposed model, it really is something different and it is more geared towards uh, mobile devices. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.